break it in. Nah, see? That's when you got to get the, the boxing skills up. You know what I'm saying? One, two, or one, 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 two, one, two, one. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to mink them. Today, my brother spun back. This video, I'd like to thank our sponsors over at Established Tiles. And before I start, hold up, they just hit me up. I thought it was Cap, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'll just skip it though. I don't want to steal your idea, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me go ahead and- Older ah. videos, you know I've done some pretty grimy things to my brother. But in part one, I did go a little far. Just watch this video right here and see for yourself. But I had this to say at the end of that video. But after glaring at me, he just runs away and goes to the room. And here's where I made a mistake because I thought he was wallowing in self-pity in that room. But little did I know, he was plotting his revenge. That's and crazy. this is that story. See, my brother held such a grudge that this took place months later. We were shooting each other with Nerf guns, one of our favorite things to do at the yeah. time. We did this a little too much. I remember so that. much so that we had Blicks on Blicks on Blicks. Our arsenal could catch <laughs> us a Rico case for real. We'd even go OD. <laughs> Get it. We'd even go OD. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ian build forts. Like tip over the table, grab the bed frame, put a blanket over it, type forts. Keep it a buck. It was so sturdy it could make Kai Sinat switch to the cha-cha slide. I genuinely <laughs> miss building these as a kid. Like if I flip a table as a grown ass man, Quinn I'm either good. having a mental breakdown How about you? or moving states because I had a mental breakdown. But as I stated earlier, we had a good selection. Of Hold up. He, you moved to a different state or are you still in Austin? Let me find out. Weapons. My favorite being the shotgun because of its mechanics. With most normal Nerf guns, you insert the darts directly into a barrel or into a clip. <laughs> well, this one had these thick World War II fire oh, he's done. last shells. Two to be exact. You place the darts into the shell, the shell into the gun, cock it, and shoot. This John had range bro that's crazy like, my siblings rarely won these wars i was 16 but you would think i was 12 how good i was at shooting my black <laughs> brothers but my favorite part was reloading the gun see when you that's open crazy. it the shells propelled out like a real shotgun then you put the spare shells in and then you <laughs> what the fuck was that? you pull out the spare <laughs> shells load it and then you keep going this is one of the coldest things young me has ever seen and i kept it on me i was never lacking so this one time my brother caught me lacking. I had woke up on a Saturday morning. The first thing I did was grab my blick and get to building a fort. Now there were two different types of forts. One was the kitchen table with the bed sheet draped over it that we'd pin to the ground. This was usually a one man fort. As for the other, we'd take our bunk bed frame and drape a sheet over it. That was usually a two man. Now, okay. me having the best weapon in our arsenal one man team, team would only hold me back. I was like Wilt Chamberlain in 1962 <laughs> without the skill or the height. And I was also 16. So basically the same nigga. I started building the table for it and the commotion wakes up my brother. Bro, what are you? Nah, you said I could use the table. It was my turn. Nah, I said you could have this pudding. Pudding. Putting these nuts in your face. <laughs> we start arguing, but then it hits me. I'm strapped and he's lacking. Why no, am I done. even arguing with a nigga who can't dodge bullets? So I let my stick talk. He ducks, but the way he ducks <clears throat> gets him hit in the forehead. Mm. Furious, of course, he lunges at me, ripping through the fort. And I'm like, damn. How the tables have turned. Psych, I back up, shoot him in the head again, pop, and I'm thinking this has to stop him because these bullets hurt, but instead he dashes towards me even quicker because he knows the shot he only has two, two shells. Bullets. So I ditch him and grab another gun. I run to the other side of the living room, grab a strap, load it, turn around. He's nowhere to be found. And immediately drop it because I see my brother holding my gun. Not to shoot me, to break but to break it and nah, see. That's when you gotta get the, the boxing skills up. You know what I'm saying? One, two, or one, 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 two, one, two, one. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta mink them. You get ready to break my stuff, you, you're done, you're finished. Half, I rush over with all of my might, fully intending on slamming the entire weight of me and my past three lives into this nigga. And this causes him to waver as he knew if I caught him, I was sending him to the spirit world. So he rushes to the patio, but now he's cornered. I reach for the gun, he runs to the right, I follow, but then, I don't know where he learned this, but he hits this hezzy and sends my ankles into the yeah. spirit world. He was like Wilt Chamberlain <laughs> in 1962. I get up, but he locks the patio door. I panic immediately. And from his point of view, I'm banging on the door to get him to let me in. But in actuality, I am trying to drive <laughs> my fist through the glass <laughs> door to break it. I am seething with rage. I see him raise the gun over his head, smile and slam the gun onto the ground. And I can only look in pure anguish as my favorite weapon just gets eviscerated into a thousand pieces. I fall to my knees and with the smile on his face. Fall out to my knees when the law came. And, uh, <laughs> my brother walks into the bathroom and locks the door. My other brother eventually lets me in. And as I'm looking 
at the carnage. My mom comes in and asks me what happens, to which I say, oh, this? It was just an accident, you know? Terrible accidents can happen to anyone. Nah, you can't, you can't be so bold to break my stuff, then go hide in, in cowardice. That can't happen. Come see me with the 1v1, bro. See me. You have to. At any time, but <laughs> I'll be careful next time. <laughs> I'll make sure. <laughs> That's I'll, crazy. I'm playing. I never got back at this nigga. <laughs> Videos is right in the scripts. My profession isn't too different from a normal job. A doctor goes to work and cures people. Uh -huh. Sir, he's bleeding internally. He's going to die. We need to do something. Internally? That's where the blood is supposed to be. Next, a cashier goes to work and scans shit. A chef goes to work to and unversions this. the olive oil. A Catholic preacher goes to work and unversions. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. We're going to stop that right there.